episode today I'm going to be talking about question three what have you learned from your audience feedback and I'm going to be talking about in relation to my film poster um so as you can see this was the initial idea that I had for my poster um I drew this um as this is what I envisioned I wanted the emphasis to be on the eyes um just on the eyes specifically um and then have the delusional on the bottom as you can see um however when taking pictures it didn't it didn't go quite to plan um and what you will see in the next clip is the pictures that i took that i tried to mimic of this but they didn't turn out how i wanted them to um so as you can see these were the photos that i took and um, these were the first set of photos i believe um that i took of her eyes um trying to mimic the drawing that i had done um as you can see it wasn't it didn't look too good um her, there wasn't enough emphasis on her eyes her eyes were washed out um you could barely see her actual eyes um and yeah it just didn't look right and so i ended up taking a second set of photos um and they were similar to this um but they weren't good and then i came to my final um um set of photos which i really enjoyed um so as you can see this is a text message from me and my friend um she we me and her were on the phone and um while we were on the phone i asked her to go check out my blog to see what i could improve on my poster because um i didn't really i needed more audience feedback so i asked her and she suggested um that i contrast a little bit more that i play around with colors a little bit more um because she's i was a bit nervous i was a bit skeptical of like using photoshop i'm not that comfortable with it um however when she told me that it kind of like was words of wisdom so that's how she like helped me so without that audience feedback i probably wouldn't have experimented with like a, the gradient tool or like with color balance i would have been too um intimidated by it i wouldn't know if it looks right um so that's why i kept focusing on what on what people like specifically that's why i kept asking questions specific questions like what images what colors would you like to see because i didn't want to get it wrong obviously i experimented a lot with the actual photo itself um initially i wanted the eyes but after actually t when actually filming um and taking photos it didn't turn out how i expected it to be so i played around with a lot of different um shot types um and this one out of the bunch was the best one my final um poster was the best one so yeah um that audience feedback really really did help me so i asked four questions um in relation to my film poster and they were what type of image do you want to see in the film poster that's like a medium close up or like um a medium shot sorry or a close up um two what color wash would you like to see um three what facial expressions and four um do you like the slogan you're not alone so as you can see i got four um for face for number one um i got three blues for number two i got three stern face for number th um three and i got um six yeses for number four um so that's what i'm gonna try and go with i might mix some of them even if they wasn't the um the highest i might mix some of them because they might look good together you never know um just like for example the blue and the purple i might mix the two colors together um so it's more flattering on her skin tone um and yeah so um these were the type of pictures that i was going for um after my first failed attempt of the eyes um and the actual questionnaire and the response from my friend um really pushed me into actually doing what I was thinking originally um because it gave me a little bit more of a push and a little bit more um of a pathway of, of actually what people would want to see and and to stick to my target audience as well to use them to really um elevate my poster and to actually use that input um so yeah this is what i came up with i contrasted the sides this is um 
earlier progress I contrasted the sides um, to add more depth so that it's really in that delusional and that she's in her mind and everything around her is going wrong and that she's just yeah she's just deluded so yeah this is what I came up with um, in this next video of my friend Glory um, you'll see me asking more questions on just solidifying what people actually want to see um, so yeah hi Glory hi uh, so what type of um, wash of colour do you like to see, would you like to see on a film poster I'm not really yeah. picky. Any any wash of colour is fine. Okay. Uh, do you want the name on top or anywhere else yeah. on the page? Yeah, yeah. The top is fine because that's what I usually see anyway. Film posters or any other magazine and stuff. All right. And um. So yeah, this is my final piece, and I'm really really happy with it. Um. I think that it really progressed my the genre um of the thriller really well, um, and just yeah, it actually. I feel like it coincides with the trailer and my film poster and everything like that. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, what I learned from my audience feedback for my film poster is just repetition. Um, just I just kept asking people the same questions just to see if I saw a pattern. And surprisingly, people wanted to see the same thing. And it also made me a bit more confident in using Photoshop as I use tools like lasso tool, gradient tool, colour balance, colour contrast, I played around with it, I adjusted it so it actually fit and it suited and it complemented her skin tone um, and it and it progressed the genre on even more so my audience feedback for my film poster so really that is off. what I have learned from my audience feedback for my film poster um, so yeah thanks for watching